Bay. A New Haven High School is undergoing a substantial remediation when it comes to mold. NBC Connecticut's Melissa Cooney tells us more about the conditions at Wilbercross High School and what educators are saying about it. The library here at Wilbur Cross High School will be closed for the next handful of days as mold cleanup continues. Educators I spoke with say their concern is that this could just be the tip of the iceberg. We've been putting up with this state of affairs for years. Mia Kumulata Brewer is a school counselor at the high school. She says the mold in the library isn't the only issue, saying there's concerns relating to flooring, ceiling, ventilation, electricity, and plumbing. Everything is patchwork. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, Band-Aid here, Band-Aid there. But then now we're getting to the point where everything is kind of falling apart. We are feeling reassured um, that there have been, you know, more um, uh, deliberate assessments and responses, uh, but we're going to need that momentum to continue. Both Leslie Blateau of the New Haven Federation of Teachers and Comulata Bruler say they appreciate the mold remediation efforts underway and the help of the administration this year. In a statement, New Haven Public Schools says carpenters work to replace ruined floor and ceiling tiles and they're working to address issues that have caused flooding. They say they're installing insulation to protect condensation from forming on ceiling ducts, that they'll be checking for additional mold, fixing the flooring in the library, replacing the stairwell tread covers, painting handrails, repairing faucets and restrooms, and fixing doors. The district says most of this work will be done by contractors because the district doesn't have in-house staff for these issues, saying they cannot yet provide cost estimates or a timeline. We need more funding from the state of Connecticut to ensure that our schools are well maintained. Um, second, we absolutely need more staffing. New Haven Public Schools tells us they advocate for funding every year. They say now in part, a goal for this year is to develop a 10 year facilities plan that will enable us to consolidate facilities appropriately and to plan for ongoing maintenance of building systems. And the district says the library and the other impacted classrooms will be reopened once they are deemed safe after they are retested. In New Haven, Melissa Cooney, NBC Connecticut News.